Mikel, who gets the catch. He's got patrol. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this presentation of SCC Sports. We've got girls soccer on the docket for this evening as the Moundsview Mustangs travel to White Bear to take on your Bears in suburban East action. I am Sam Erickson here on the call. We mentioned it was, it is, I should say, a suburban East matchup. But first, we're going to talk a little bit about that fall weather. Not too much wind to speak of. Had a little bit of rain earlier in the day, but it looks like that has moved through the area and we uh, are in line for a pretty nice night, albeit a little bit chilly as we're hovering just above 50 degrees here at the stadium on the south campus of White Bear Lake. We'll take a look at the uh, intros there and we mentioned it was a Suburban East matchup so we'll take a look at the standings. This White Bear Lake team, a lot of seniors doing very good at a seven and four overall record, three and two uh, so far as they've entered into Suburban East play. Uh, Suburban East Conference always tough and uh, Bears have actually dropped their last two, one to Woodbury 4-0 and then Eastridge uh, on Monday 1-0. And take a look at the upcoming schedule. This one is for Moundsview. Moundsview struggling a little bit on the season, just getting Suburban East Conference action underway. Well, after this one, they will travel to Stillwater. That'll always be a tough test. And uh, then they'll go to Henry Sibley, and then you see Park of Cottage Grove at home. We will break and hear the national anthem and have that kickoff for you after that. Nice rendition of the anthem. There's a look at the co-head coaches of the White Bear Lake Bears. You got Dave Ashley on the right, Don Dirschinger, Dirsing on the left, excuse me. Uh, and they are the co-head coaches of this Bears team. As we mentioned, they're seven and four on the season right now, doing pretty well. Senior, a lot of senior leadership, including Claire Oddmark, uh, someone that we followed for a couple years. And they've got a couple juniors to complement those seniors, including Kayla Anderson, who's doing very well. We'll talk a little bit about her uh, upcoming. I think we'll sneak that in before kickoff, but we'll take a look at that upcoming schedule. Something that we were talking about before we got interrupted, and we see on October 2nd, White Bear goes to Stillwater, always a tough test. Then they travel to Park of Cottage Grove, which uh, should be an easy one for them there, and then at home to Spring Lake Park in some non-conference action on October the 6th. There's a look at the Moundsview Mustangs, the visitors, as I mentioned, 1-7-1 one, and one on the season. That one victory did come in the Suburban East. That was against Forest Lake, a team White Bear defeated 9-0. Mustangs took them down 3-0 not too long ago. We're going to take a look at some of our upcoming broadcasts here on our schedule. Thursday we'll be out at uh, Tartan for the North St. Paul Tartan volleyball game, then football on Friday, Matabini versus South St. Paul. And as we do every other Wednesday live at 7 p.m., we'll have Sports Path and recap all the events that we've been at, um, out to with highlights. 
and as well as going over some standings and some other things involved with uh, our SEC schools and sports teams that we follow here in the area. And we got football again on the 5th, volleyball on the 11th, and another episode of Sports Path um, on October the 17th. So a lot of good action here in the fall on SEC as we always do love this time of year as we get back into high school sports on the network. Bears, as uh, you noticed, look very relaxed during that uh, national anthem. There's a look at one of the goalies. That is Moundsview goalie. That is Jolie Duell. She is a senior, one of the few seniors on this Moundsview team. Where White Bear Lake coming in with a little bit more experience. And I will talk about number three. There she is, Kayla Anderson. Those stats very good on the early season. 15 goals, four assists in just 11 games played. We talked about it. this team has a lot of seniors, but getting a lot of help from the junior in Kayla Anderson. I think we are just about ready to get things underway. Looks like Anderson will start this one on the sideline. And we have kicked off. Ball played out of bounds. And I think because of senior night, a little recognition, and that was why we had that quick play. It is senior night here at the stadium. A couple seniors getting the honorary start. And we'll do a little substitution. Some of those seniors coming off the field. Catherine Timmons getting the start. Number 13. Like Madeline Wallace, 21 as well. And after the proceedings, looked like we're just about ready to get things going. Throw in for the Bears. They'll play it back to Moundsview, who graciously played it out for that recognition for the seniors. Touched ahead, just a little too strong, and played out of bounds. Another White Bear throw. Please, 21. Throw up field, trying to find 10. Erica Townley. Townley battling for it on the near side, and she'll win the throw. This one played up to Anderson. Anderson, number three, we mentioned with the 15 goals playing on this left side. Looking for a cross for something. Crosses it in towards the net. Touched on by a Moundsview defender. Not quite cleared away. And White Bear will try and regroup, but it'll be taken away by the Mustangs. That one touched on. Kayla Anderson's going to be the first one to it. She tries to cut inside. Good job by the Moundsview defender. And they'll try and clear it away. And to no avail, this cross will come in low on the ground, trying to find Anderson. And again, cleared, but not far. Tapped out and will stay with Moundsview. Not surprising early pressure here from the Bears. Moundsview tries to play it along his near side. Good touch as it's number 19, Lily Nowatsky making a run. Eventually runs out of space, runs out of room, and will have to give the ball up. Well, this is Madeline Wallace. She was not one of the uh, seniors subbed off. She'll get the throw. Tapped ahead, and they're really trying to work it to Anderson. On that near side, ref says it stays with White Bear. Quick throw in, Townley chasing it down. And again, touched away by the Moundsview defense. Come up, thought it maybe struck the hand. And ref right there on the call as it struck Nowatsky. Handball. And it'll be a first set piece here White Bear. for the White Bear Lake Bears. Townley will take it. We'll see what she does here. Number 10, Townley. She does have Wallace to her right. Looks like she's going to play it long into the box or even go for a shot. That one deep off the field goal crossbar and out of play. Quite the leg there from number 10, Erica Townley, senior, showing off some skills here on senior night. I think that got struck Walls. It did. Throwing for Moundsview. This will be Mayakovsky. Kofsky in. And the Bears will take it right back. 
Bears, of course, in their orange and black. Mounds view in the white with green lettering. <laughs> nice takeaway from Nowatzki. Not a lot of support. She'll slow it up. Play it back. That one now played in. Ellen Jacob, number three. White Bear tries to clear. Only goes as far as Sarah Kothlow for Moundsview, and they'll regroup, try and get something set up. Ball played in, but that will roll all the way to the goalkeeper, Ella Janicki. Scooped up by Janicki. Janicki surveys the scene, boots it away. Here's a look at some of the gray skies that pass through the area. But uh, as you can tell, we've got sunny skies here. Another battle on this near side. And throw is awarded to Moundsview. Moundsview did a good job uh, sustaining some early pressure. Now getting a little time on the ball. They work it around. Ball finally finds its way to that far side. A dangerous pass, but dual quick to come off the line and play it out. Throw will go to White Bear. High arcing throw. Let's head it out. We'll try it again. I believe that's eight. Abigail De La Rosa yep, on the throw. As Kayla Anderson's kind of drifted over now to that far side. And ball goes off her for the Mustangs throw. Kayla Anderson, there's a look at her. Set 15 goals the first 11 games. Not to mention a six goal effort. Here we might have a chance. That one squirts away from Townley and straight into the arms of Duel for the Mustangs. I was mentioning Kayla Anderson's six goal effort. That'll help the season tally. That six goal game for Anderson coming against Forest Lake in a nine to one victory. That is the one win this Moundsview team has on the season, that win against Forest Lake as well. A little closer of a game between the uh, Mustangs and Forest Lake at three to zero. But right now we're all tied up. And Moundsview with a few chances. That one just booted away. Moundsview again with a throw. Courtney Crouch gets it back. Now trying to work it around from defense. Crossfield pass finds its target. And White Bear looking to break. Townley now cuts inside. Just elects for the shot. Nice low shot on the near side post, but save made by Duell. Very nice save by the senior in net for the Mustangs. It looked like Townley had the pass there, and I thought she might elect to take it. So I think she saw where the goalie was positioned, kind of backing up, decided to have a go for it, and nice reaction from Duel. Corner kick taken by number five, Courtney Crouch. Courtney Crouch going to take that corner kick. Another one of the seniors on the squad near the goalie. Townley didn't have the angle as it hits the outside net. But Duel didn't hold on to it and gave the Bears a chance. Goal kick, Moundsview. Take a look at that corner kick again. Close in on the post. Duel couldn't quite deal with it with all the traffic in front of net. Townley just didn't quite have the angle. Mustangs can't connect on a through ball. They'll keep it. No official shots on net for the Mustangs. Couple for White Bear. But no score. As we're nearing about nine minutes into this one.
Tomley will settle that deflects off a Mustang. They'll keep it. Now headed back and forth. Finally, Moundsview settles with it at about midfield. That ball played out. And the unforced error will get the ball back to White Bear. Townley, a good touch pass to Anderson. Anderson tried to make a move, gets taken down, no call. Ball played out to space, nobody home. Moundsview looks like they could pounce, but just played out of bounds. As Gabby Eubanks, the junior, plays it out. Eubanks again, try to play it up the sideline, nothing there. Anna Racine, battle on that far side, loses out. And the ball's back in play. Anderson now, good turn, touches it inside. There's Racine, a little strong on that touch, but Duel can't handle it. A little bit of action in front of that, and that's gonna be a goal. And after starting out looking pretty sharp, the senior goalie for Moundsview is gonna want that one back, as that's one she will save nine times out of 10. And the Bears very opportunistic there. The touch was just a little too strong here for Racine. She had a great opportunity, but that first touch, too strong, Duel. Well, didn't pick up the ball, and good effort from Racine not giving up on the play and netting it. Looked like it was 22, and Racine on the Scoring goal. Scoring for White Bear Lake with 29-37 remaining. First half, number 10, Erica Townley. Well, stadium announcer Assisted gives it to Townley, but uh, we have the benefit of replay here. That's Townley from Racine. 29-37 remaining, first half. And I'm not, I'm sure the Bears won't mind who gets credit for it. All that matters is they got the goal, lead one to zero. And we're just over 10 minutes into that first half. I'll poke ahead, there's Townley on it again, cuts inside. She'll try to work it back out to Anderson. Good job by the defense, tapping it back to the keeper. That one a little too hard to handle. And Bears will have it again. It's fun to watch this front three for White Bear Lake kind of work together, Townley and Anderson, and then you add in Racine, and they can really do some damage. There's Townley just offside wanders there. offside. Free kick, Mustangs. And it'll be a free kick for the traveling Mustangs. Kick is away. Yeah, it looks like it struck the hand of Wallace. It'll be another free kick for Moundsview. Looks like that goes off the Bears, and Moundsview now with a chance deep in White Bear territory. Haven't been on their side of the field a whole lot. Laney Ballinger gonna throw this one in. Sophomore here on the squad for Moundsview. That one tapped away, came off a Mustang foot, and will go to the Bears. That one kept in nicely. Some good footwork, running out of room, but Hedzy played to knock it off the uh, defender, excuse me, the opponent, get it back for White Bear. Well upfield. Townley going to try and get to it. Uses the size to head it up. But only Mustang defenders there to knock it back towards midfield. White Bear defense now able to push up a little bit as they're creeping up towards midfield. Uh, 
Maybe get caught out here. As Nowatsky, good touch. She's got a run going here near side. Looking for a play, waiting now for numbers. She's going to have a battle, and I think it came off Nowatsky, but they're going to give the throw to the Mustangs. All right, entering for the Mustangs, number eight, Anna Ranallo. Number 10, Take a Ada look at that again. Number 14, Leah Bat. And it looked like when Nowatsky was trying to shield the ball, it just kind of clipped her left foot. Tough to see from that angle. I could see where ref maybe thought Sam Burkett got a foot in there. Ball's in the corner. And good opportunity for the Mustangs to maybe put something on the board here. And no corner. Goal Paul, kick, there, that's going to be a goal kick. So opportunity squandered there for the Mustangs. Not going to have a lot of opportunity in the uh, White Bear box. And he couldn't do anything with it there. Janicki with the goal kick. Great job by Anderson, shielding, winning the ball, getting it up to Townley. Now Townley tries to turn inside, taking on a defender, drops her, but gets called for the arm. And I think that is a good call by the official. She's got a little too physical there. Good job. Free kick, Lauren Danielson, 27, been doing a lot of work back there for the Mustang defense, just a sophomore. And you'll see here, yeah, when you get that arm a little high on the upper body, the ref's going to call that more often than not. But you like the aggressiveness from Tomley. Really wants to get in there, get the ball, and attack the net. Nowatsky, good move. Far side, nobody home on the entry pass. Mustangs will stay with it, play it around. Played back safely now. Tried to play forward, nobody home. Eubanks there to intercept. Burkett finds a teammate. Marin Showgirl. All up for grabs midfield. Townley got it. She's going to try and get something going here for White Bear. Good persistence, but nothing doing. And the ball goes out. Nikki a little too strong on that clearance. So a little over 15 minutes ticked away here in the first half. White Bear, the one goal, albeit a bit of a fluky goal as a uh, Moundsview goaltender making a mistake, letting the ball go through her hands and Bears able to easily pounce. So nice job here by Moundsview. They've been playing a little better soccer as of late. Though not really reflected in the win-loss column. They're playing a lot closer matchups. Kicking for the Bears, number 25, Madison Carroll. As we're gonna have a substitution, Madison Carroll, as you heard, coming on for White Bear. Carroll's junior defense. Townley again on the ball. Oh, what a beautiful arcing pass. Shot, save, rattles around, and Duel able to corral that one. Shot, Racine. That took a duel. quick bounce off the defender. But she secured it. What a pop pass from Townley. That nearly led to the second White Bear goal. Burkett plays back now. Janicki, not sure what to do with it, just plays it out. Moundsville will have another nice opportunity. Take a look. And it is Racine on that far side. Try to lift it over the goalie. Good job by Duel, uh, standing tall and knocking it down. 
Goal kick, Bears. Nikki unable to find a teammate. Moundsview again going to try and start an attack in the White Bears zone. Cleared out. Burkett, she's been all over the field. Nice job touching it to safety. He's stringing a few passes together. You can see they're just, just a little off on some of these passes where if they could get them crisp foot to foot, they could really get something going. White Bear hasn't really been able to get a whole lot going other than anything on the counter attack, getting Townley out in some space, getting her some opportunity to run and find some things. They've been trying to work it into Anderson, but Mounds do a good job these last few minutes keeping possession of the ball, keeping the ball in the White Bear uh, area. Ballinger with the throw, knocked away, they'll do it again. Ballinger goes up the sideline, headed away. Janicki's going to race out there, not get there, and that should be a Mounds View corner, and it will. Corner like kick, Nowatsky's going to take the corner. Nowatsky's been playing majority of the first half here on this near side, goes over to the far side to take this corner, number 19. She's going to play it in. Maltzview has some decent height. You got 15 Eubanks here, far post, kind of creeping in the zone. Looked like they were trying to find her. And headed away by the Bears. Heads up play, knocking it off. Bear defender, Anna Ranallo is going to keep it with Maltzview Ranallo, freshman here on this Maltzview Mustangs team. Moundsview may be struggling a little bit in terms of wins, losses this season, but getting a lot of good experience with some of these younger players. Now White Bear with a chance, as we mentioned, liking to get out on that counterattack, looking for the long ball there, trying to get Racine, Townley, or uh, for the Bears, Kayla 24, Anderson into some space Nicola so they can do some work. 26, Chloe Simonic. Looks like Racine's going to take a seat. Crouch is going to push up a little bit. She'll get the throw. Crouch battling a defender. Keeps the ball with White Bear. Now coming together, and it's going to go to Moundsview. And a Westlaw number 10 inside pass. Nowatsky got it. Got a chance to turn. Another turn shot on, and just wide of Janicki and Net. Take a look, nice footwork by Nowatsky. You've seen this a couple times. She made a nice nifty little back heel pass between a couple defenders. Looked like, you know, kind of expect her to go left, turns to the right, and the low driven shot just wide. Here's Townley. She'll play it up. So they're trying the long ball rather than keep possession. Again, knock it up. And it's Courtney Crouch. Tried to get it in the middle, but it got taken away. That one tapped ahead, and it's going to be a race. Nowatsky might win it. She'll get there. Not a lot to do. And she'll just play it into the box where nobody's there except bare defenders. And that is Madison Carroll playing it out. Nowatsky's really looked the most dangerous member of this Moundsview squad, but good feet from Carroll to not only stop that ball, find it, and clear it out. That one cleared away, but only as far as a Mustang. Played back in, dummied. That'll roll harmlessly to Janicki. 
Nikki punts it up. Townley was open in space. She'll get a chance to head the ball on to Kayla Anderson. Anderson now with a couple white shirts around her. Nobody closing her down except one. Now she'll dance through a couple, but too strong. Nowatsky again on the ball. This time she'll turn left and gets tripped up and will get the foul. Free kick Mustangs. Just over 16 minutes left to go here in the opening half. Moundsview holding their own. Thought this one might be a bit of a blowout when you look at the records. White Bear, a little more experience on the field. Bears definitely look relaxed coming into this one, maybe a little too relaxed, but still have that one to zero lead. And are comfortable at that. Nice play. Townley going against the sophomore defender and touched out of bounds by Lauren Danielson of the Mustangs. Entry for Monzu, number 20, Ella Herbert. 21, Sarah Coppola. And for White Bear Lake, number eight, Abby Delarosa. Couple substitutions for both sides. This is a throw in for Wallace. Trying to find Townley. Townley shields the defender, turns inside. Has to battle a couple. A good job by this Moundsview defense. Organized and dealing with some of these weapons on White Bear. Westlund. And nothing doing as Janicki Stonewall's in net. She'll boot it ahead. Trap from Cothlaw, but played out, and it said came off a of bear, so it'll be a Mustang throw. And Anna Ronaldo, only a freshman, but trying to show some experience there, creeping that throw in up the field a little bit. That one rattles off a few legs, but it'll stay with Moundsview. Just over 14 minutes to go. Another goal in this half would be huge. Both sides, if White Bear could make it two to nothing, that would make things very comfortable going into the half. If Moundsview could net one, that could make things very interesting for this second half on both sides. And I don't think anyone anticipated this one being quite so close as we head towards the break. Tomlin, good job keeping it in, but has no one to play it to. Westlund to Nowatsky, back out to Ranallo. Ranallo looking for something, uh, dancing along the sideline, and she'll keep the ball. That one thumped ahead. Nobody home, and just watch it go out. It'll be a goal, goal kick, kick White Bear Lake. for White Bear Lake. Not a whole lot of shots on net for the Bears other than their goal. Came close on a corner kick. And another big save on a breakaway by Duel in net. Other than that, not much in terms of scoring chances for the Bears. The Mustangs are looking more and more threatening as this half goes on. That one maybe hit a hand inside the box, but inadvertent. And no call from the referee as it's played far ahead. Dangerous moment for the Bears. I don't think the referee saw that or just called it incidental as it came up on the White Bear defender.
Ball stays in, says the official. Townley batting again, finds it. And Townley tried to take on a couple defenders and won't win that battle. Good team soccer here from Moundsview. They're working around, everybody getting touches. who's still enjoying this spell of possession in the White Bear half, kind of been controlling the game, but White Bear looking to break out on the counter. What a step, just too far for Anderson. If she can find it, goes to Townley. She tries to knock it up ahead to Crouch, who's now on that far side wing. And just played out by the Mustangs. It looks like White Bear is content with Moundsview having possession, kind of working the ball into their area, and they're just going to, when they get possession, going to try and just push it up to one of their three forwards and let them make something happen. Maybe get Moundsview caught creeping forward a little too far and uh, get some extra space and some room for those girls to do what they do best. We have a substitution, we do. A couple changes coming for the Bears. Injury for the Bears, number 20, Haley Highland, and number 30, Charlie Adam. Madeline Wallace is going to take a breather, as well as Bailey McCullough. McCullough, another one of these seniors. That one lofted into the box far. Over to this near side, Townley tries to turn, couldn't, doesn't have anything. Now it's at the feet of Lauren Eckerly. And Eckerly has a roll to duel in net. Still punts it away. Ronaldo plays back, dangerous play. Some contact, nothing called there. And Danielson able to deal with the pressure of having Kayla Anderson barrel down on her, trying to win that ball and have nothing but the goalie in the net between them. Westland tried to get going too fast. Bears able to pounce, take the ball. Another long ball played up. Doesn't find anybody. Danielson with a miss hit. And Bears are going to take it again. Here's Kayla Anderson. Anderson gets it caught up in her feet. Bears were going to get it back. I think maybe it hit a hand. Free kick, Moundsview. It'll be a free kick to the Mustangs. Danielson and Townley continue that battle. Danielson winning out as it rolls to the keeper. Moundsview sustaining a little pressure themselves now. Trailing 1-0. White Bear got the goal about 10 minutes into this one. Moundsview defense has done a nice job shutting the door since. Bears, though, have enjoyed a little bit of possession. In the past couple minutes, and Townley looking dangerous here. Try to cut it back onto the right foot. Does get a chance to get the cross in the box. That one is kicked out of bounds. Bears now trying to set up another threat. Rattles around, hits a few bodies. Refs say it will stay with the Bears. Ronaldo 
Jacobs looking to take it for the Mustangs. Caught sleeping a little bit as Townley's able to creep in, shot. And it looks like it just didn't get that curl. Big shot, Townley, just Curl wide. inside that far post. Goal. Good look from Erica Townley. Moundsview. Entering for Moundsview, number two, Abby Northrup. Number four, Katie Wurst. Five, Maya Koski. And 18, Katie Kopp. Low. A lot of changes here for Moundsview. Looks like they might try and get some fresh legs, get some rest. A few of those players have played the majority of this first half with just about five minutes left to go here in the opening frame. Another battle. Hustle, but out of bounds and off the bear. So goal That's kick. That's a goal kick for Moundsview. To Moundsview. Eckerly plays it up again. That one crossed low. Kayla Anderson got a foot to it again. Another chance for White Bear. Moundsview can't clear. Rattles again. Another shot. That one deflects off ahead. Moundsview desperately trying to clear. Unable to do so. As Townley controls it back for the Bears. Plays it to Burkett, who mishits. And Moundsview escapes, giving up nothing here. Big saves by Moundsview. Boy, Mounds what a cross Ellie to get Healer. it down to Kayla Anderson's right foot. Comes back to her great reaction to get a left-footed shot on. But look at the Moundsview defense. Close him down. Block those shots. And I'm not sure Duel had to make a save in that entire sequence. It's a really organized defense from Moundsview. Didn't catch the goal. It was a bit of a fluky goal as Duel and Net, the senior, just unable to handle kind of a slow roller, got through her hands, and the Bears were able to pounce and just poke it into the empty net. Save she's going to make 99 out of 100 times. And a few more clouds roll in here as we uh, got into this first half. Mentioned temperature is just about 50 degrees, a little bit colder than the nice weekend we had. And that one not cleared. Janicki, good presence of mind to pounce and just boot it away. Janicki, just a junior, but showing some experience, knowledge. against the Bears, looks like a push. Free kick, Moundsview. It will be a free kick. It's going to be Ella Keeler is going to take it. Uh, there's a Janicki coming off her line. No, she could get there and does. Madison Carroll kind of just let it go. Thought it might be an opportunity for Moundsview, but Janicki coming off your, out of your screen. Go get the ball. Played up the line on the far side. I believe that's Mayakovsky, number five, trying to chase it down. It is. one of the few juniors, or excuse me, seniors on this Mounds team. Bears now with a chance to break. Good recovery from the Mustangs. Eubanks hits it ahead. There's Westlund. Westlund plays it out. She's looking for it back. Almost got it from Abby Northrup. She tried a little outside of the foot, right-footed pass. Oh, 
Longview sticking with it. They play trying to switch it to the other side of the field. Katie Worst calling for it. The Worst was calling for it just a little too late. Goes out of bounds, throw into the Bears. A minute and a half left to go here. First half, 1-0, White Bear leads. Well, not a comfortable, comfortable lead. And if Moundsview can net something here in the next 90 seconds, that could really change things here. Same goes for the Bears. They can make it 2-0. to zero. That makes your uh, feeling going into the break a lot more confident about getting this win. Everything's sort of up in the air, though, still. White Bear finding their way back into this first half a little bit here towards the end. Been a lot of Mounds View control. Surprising. A couple flyovers there. Oh, nice camera work. Get to hear that plane go by. Great stadium less here than a minute at the White Bear Lake. Less Recently than a redid the turf a few years back. It looks fantastic. You see the bear there in your shot, the go bears. That is a nice little touch. Yeah, thinking Mount back to a couple years ago, if it was still grass, you know, with the, we had quite a bit of rain over these past couple days. We may not be playing this one. And especially with the uh, way that field looked uh, towards the end of its grass life. A lot smoother here now. Taking down the final seconds here, 15 seconds to go. I think both teams will be content with just playing this one out, getting to the half and talking a few things over. Mounds are desperately trying to get close to maybe get some kind of shot off, but the horn sounds, and, and so that will be half, it for the first half. One. One to nothing. There's a look at Kayla Anderson. She surprisingly did Shots not get goal the goal, the but the Bears half, lead three, nonetheless 1 0. And White Bear Lake 6. And we will get into our halftime festivities, and that will start with a little March. segment from our show, Sports Path, that we do every other Wednesday March. live at 7 from right here on SEC. This is the Athletes of the Week and my man John Miller. And like I mentioned before, All right, for my male athlete of the week, I really didn't have to look too hard. You know, I broadcasted this game, and this was sophomore defensive back and wide receiver who just dominated. If you can't guess from the earlier highlights, it's Dorian Singer out of Tartan. He had two interceptions, one of which was returned for that awesome touchdown about 80 yards, as well as a beautiful catch for a touchdown, overcoming the defender. Have a day, young man. You have a bright future ahead of you, and I'm excited to see where you're at during your senior year. Now my, for my female athlete of the week, I have to go with White Bear Lake soccer player, junior forward, Kayla Anderson. And now in a nine to one win over Forest Lake on the 13th of this month, she scored not one, not two, not three, but six goals. That's a very impressive day. Have a day young woman. You know, so congratulations to you two and I look forward to seeing who are my athletes of the week in two weeks from now. But for now, that's it for my athletes of the week. Well, you see why I mentioned it was surprising that Kayla Anderson did not score the only goal in the first half as she netted six, as you just saw in that game against Forest Lake. And that was our Athletes of the Week. Hopefully, uh, Kayla Anderson can put a, a goal in the net here in the second half. But uh, we want to talk to you when you have your phones out. We'll talk to you a little bit about our social media montage, another segment that we do uh, on Sports Path, where we collect all Thanks, of your best look. moments from social media and let you kind of know what's going on with all the teams and schools and activities that we cover. So get those phones out, get on social media, and give us some good content for that social media montage. We'll roll it right here. Sports Path this year. Now, first up for the social media montage, we go to Twitter where White Bear Lake Activities Director Brian Pelliquin was out at a recent football game. Now, if you know anything about the White Bear Lake football program the past few years, they've been very bad. You know, they haven't, haven't been the best, uh, you know, 
Pride Pelican was at their season opener. They had their first win in about three years to open the season this year. However, the Bears team has been a pleasant surprise. They won their first two games and Brian was out the third game against Eastridge. Now the Bears didn't win against the Raptors, but Eastridge has been a historically decent team the last few years. A lot of guys going Division I to play football, including Seth Green for those Gophers. So losing by only 15 points isn't terrible. Great job by the Bears and get excited to celebrate some more touchdowns this season because we know there will be plenty of those to come. Now the next social media montage thing we have, we had over to Grand Rapids Activities Twitter account. They got their hands on some new state tournament pucks for the boys and girls hockey tournaments this year. I know it's a little too early to start thinking about hockey, but this year the Minnesota State High School League will be celebrating its 75 years of boys hockey and 25 years of girls hockey. Should be a great season and as always, and we hope that some of our Fab Four teams will get a chance to play with those pucks in the state tournament this year. But for now, let's get back over to fall sports and that's all we have for the social media montage. So that was a little look at our social media montage from Sports Path. That program we do every other Wednesday live at uh, 7 on SEC Sports. I should say that's the first and third Wednesdays of every month on SEC Sports, live at 7 p.m. little look at some of the senior ladies here for the White Bear Lake soccer squad. It is senior night here at the White Bear Stadium, so then the girls have a little bit of fun here with halftime. We'll continue on with our halftime program as we got another segment from Sports Path. This is when Mike Peden went out and about in your community. This time Mike was out in Montemidae chatting with another soccer team of our SEC Sports, the reigning state Class A state champion Montemidae Zephyrs. So this is Mike Peden out and about with Montemidae Girls Soccer. Well, Montemidae dangerous now in the attacking third. Sent across in front to high and score! You can take a long glimpse of the Matamidai girls soccer team, but you won't find an obscure secret to their success. What you will discover is the definition of camaraderie. It's the experience along with the ride of everything that happens, win and lose, you're all friends, you're a team, you work hard together, you condition together. Just knowing that your teammates have your back, it gives you confidence to take risks on the field and yeah, perform well. Performance is rarely an issue for the Zephyrs, winners of the Class A state tournament a year ago. As with most champions, they're focused on moving forward, but their achievement did answer a big question. We weren't sure if we were going to be good last year, and we just all worked together, we played together, and we came together as, as a team, and at the end, it worked out for us. Lauren Heinch and Audrey Sexton are two of Matomidai's motors. This past summer, they traveled to Sweden with their club team, a journey they'll appreciate forever. There are different girls that you got to play against that didn't speak the same language. So that was different because you weren't able to communicate with them. But we're all teenage girls and it's the same soccer, same game. You're not used to staying in a room with 13 other girls on a floor, so that was fun. And you really just bring back a bunch of new experiences that you can talk about for the rest of your life. Stateside, Grace Paddleford is Matamidai's bookend. She scored the winning goal in last year's state tournament and the first goal of the 2018 season. The last goal of the season that I scored was honestly probably one of the like, best things that I've done. And Paddleford will have more goals to aim for next year at St. Cloud State. I personally do not think I could have gotten any like to the level I am without my coaches and the teammates that I've been with for so long. The Zephyrs have encountered some turbulence against Class 2A teams, but discarding their potential in the Class A field would be unwise. We are really strong um, up and down the line, and we are starting out rough, but we're working on it, and I think we're really going to come together. A large reason for their confidence is a friendly culture. Teammates are what you need, and you need other people to succeed. And here at Matamida, every teammate and every person, girl that plays soccer here is just really great to work with. In Matamida, I'm Mike Peden for SEC Sports. There's a look at Out and About with Mike Peden from Sports Path. 
talking with the Matamini girls, uh, Matamini Zephyr girls soccer team, team that brought home the Class A state title last year. Uh, it's no wonder why. Got a couple of great leaders there, a lot of talent, and a couple of girls are going on to the next level to do some things, as you saw there. So exciting times in Matamini, but we're here in White Bear, another exciting soccer match. Suburban East action as the Bears lead Moundsview 1-0. Kind of a narrow scoreline. I thought this one might be a more of a blowout. Moundsview holding their own here on the road in Suburban East Conference action. And we are awaiting the start of our second half. It was senior day and did some festivities here during the half. But we also want to take this time to remind everyone that we can't do what we do without the work of our volunteers. If you have any interest in working a camera, working behind the scenes. You see some of our happy volunteers right there. We could not do these productions without them. And I got to tell you, the more volunteers we get, the better the better production we can put on and the more we get angles where we can show you awesome cartwheels and other athleticism from our camera operators and the rest of our great volunteers. So if you have any interest in getting involved with this stuff, you can call Arlen Becker at that number you see on the screen, 651-747-3821 or email Arlen at arlen at scctv.org. Another look at some of our camera operators. Always a good time. We're gonna be out quite a bit. Love the fall season. We get out there, do a lot of action. Football, soccer, volleyball. And we carry that straight into the winter and spring. So I think we're gonna bring you now as we're waiting a little bit longer here to start the second half. Take a look at some of these first half highlights, starting with that goal. This one came about 11, 12 minutes in. You see Kayla Anderson, great pass to Racine. Racine, a little strong in the touch, thought Duel was gonna be able to handle it through the hands. And somebody from the Bears able to pounce on it as there's a couple of people coming together, including a Moundsview defender. But that one trickles into the net. Now here's Duel redeeming herself, staying tall, and making the big save on Racine, Racine to keep it one to zero. And we'll see a couple more. This one, Kayla Anderson. This is actually a couple deflections as this whole sequence. I don't think there's a lot of shots from White Bear, but I don't think any of them found the net. As you saw, we talked about this uh, Moundsview defense being very organized all first half and just closing down on the ball and dealing with that pressure, not letting it get to them, not cracking and surrendering another goal. So they're keeping it at a, at a score line where anything can happen here. And uh, I know White Bear wanted to keep things kind of light, easy, and fun here on senior night. And they do have the lead, but boy, they'd sure like to get a second or third goal to really get comfortable and secure another victory in the tough, tough Suburban East Conference. We'll quickly go, let me quickly mention our social media, of course, Facebook, SEC TV, got Twitter, at SEC TV Sports, Instagram, SEC TV, and then YouTube, SEC TV. Definitely subscribe to that channel, gonna have all of our replays, games that we've aired, you know, past and present. So, you know, you graduated a year or two ago, you can maybe see a game that we've done a year or two in the future. You can catch this one and uh, keep those glory day memories alive. And it looks like we are ready to kick things off here in the second half. Team switch sides. White Bear is going to be going to left from left to right on your screen. Mounds view from right to left, and we're ready to go. 40 more minutes to determine a winner, and a little bit of energy to start here for White Bear on the far side. No call. I think that was Kayla Anderson hitting the floor. The referee waves get up. Worked around again. Anderson trying to Makes something happen solo, now plays it out wide. That's Racine, Racine looking for a cross low. And Duel again, can't handle the low ball. Squirts through her uh, hands and goes into the back of the net. So the dream start in the second half for White Bear Lake. This is a great pass right here from Anderson, finding Racine on that far side, knowing that she'd be there. Then I think Racine just trying to cross it in, maybe trying again after the goal in the first half to test Duel on that low shot. Goes in, and it is 2-0 White Bear. Scoring for White Bear Lake number 22, Anna Racine. 
assisted by number three, Kayla Anderson. That's received from Anderson, 35 second mark, second half. Talked a lot about Anderson goal scoring ability, six goals in a game, did come into this one with four assists, so she'll add to that total, now up to five. That's 15 goals, five assists in less than 12 games played. Take another look at that last play. And foul was called. Looked like Burkett maybe just kind of tripped on the ball. But free kick to Moundsview. Westland tried to chest it down. Can't. She'll get it, though. Poked away. Carroll now tries to bang it forward. Goes off Moundsview legs, but line judge says throw to Moundsview. Rowan looks like it maybe hit a hand and it'll be a free kick to White Bear Lake. And just coming into your screen, there's the Moundsville boys team. And the boys will kick off after this one. That will not be on SCC, but if you follow us up with Sports Path next week, 7 p.m. Wednesday, you'll find out the result of that one. Conference matchup there, of course, as well. Back to this one. White Bear coming out with good energy here, second half, kind of controlling things, winning a foul. And they'll have a free kick in a free nice kick, area. Little central on Take goal. We'll see what the idea is here. Maybe play it short or just try and loop it up and over into the box. I believe that's Townley to take it, yep. Does have. Isabella Heckman to her left, a little bit forward, not really marked up, might play it short. I think she's gonna just go for it. And that one just sails high and wide. Saw that in the first half, Townley nearly put it on net, hit the football crossbar, but a pretty nice effort from that distance. Looks like the coaching staff has given her the green light on that one. Ronaldo entering for Malzu. Co-head coaches here for White Bear, John Durkishing and Dave Ashley. Co-head coaches don't often see that. But it seems to be working out for White Bear. And on the attack again, Anderson looking for a chance to turn, but three Mustang defenders close down on her. White Bear stays with it. Burkett now plays it back. Bears stay with it, just outside the box. Try to play wide to Townley, nothing. Tapped out wide, kept in. Too strong of a touch though, and it'll go to Moundsview. A Moundsview player trying to work against two Bears. And ball heads out of bounds, throw to Moundsview. That one goes out right at the corner flag, but it will be a throw in. Townley cross. Boy, she's got a strong right foot. That one had good pace on the ground. This one knocked ahead by Moundsview. Can't be chased down. White Bear will stay with. That one can't quite get to Townley, but will stay with the Bears. Anderson looking to get it onto her right foot, but it's knocked out of bounds. Anderson calling for it again. There's a look at number three. Six goals against Forest Lake, as we mentioned. 15 on the season. Eckerly turns and fires, and that one goes in. What a shot. I don't think she knew a whole lot about it. I think she was just trying to throw it in the area, and that is a heck of a shot. Like to know what she was really thinking on that one. I'm sure she'll take it. She's gonna have a heck of a highlight. Off the corner 
off the post and into the back of the net. Tough luck for Duel and the Mustangs. And White Bear leads 3-0. Let's take a look at this. I think she just wants to loft it in there. Although she did kind of peek at Duel and that hits Scoring off the post and White in. She four, maybe was going Gordon for that. Eckerly. Chip chair and a chance. Goal, it goes in. What a shot from Eckerly. Eckerly's fourth on the year to go along with four assists. And this is exactly what the Bears wanted. I was curious to see how they'd come out in the second half after doing some uh, senior festivities during the half, kind of keeping things light and fun. I think it worked. They, uh, they were taking care of business. Anderson can't quite get there. Good turn from three. Now low cross, nobody gets it away from Mousey. One touch, too strong. Anderson there to collect again. She'll try and get across. I think she wanted a little curl on it, doesn't get it. And it'll go out for the goal kick. Goal kick Bailey McCullough too strong on the touch. I think she maybe would have been better suited just to fire it in onto net when it came through. Nobody from Mounds who got a foot on it. But they escape without allowing the goal. Three subs came in for Malzu. Nowatsky closed down by a few defenders in black and orange. They'll try and push it up again. They've really been on the gas pedal here in the second half. That one rattles away. Malzu with the chance to break. Ellen Jacob plays towards the middle. That one too strong. And we'll go back to Moundsview. Laney Ballinger again with the throw-in. Another one of these underclassmen getting significant mi minutes for the Mustangs. A lot of good learning experience out there. And a young roster gonna... This will be a team to watch in the next couple of years for sure. Getting good experience here, playing very well. Out wide. I don't think Racine saw Anderson creeping in towards the top of the box. Now Anderson's there, can't do anything as Moundsview defense is first to it. Burkett keeps it with the Bears. She'll charge towards the box. Looking for something, looking for something. And eventually she'll commit the foul. She's trying to get around the ball. Free kick, mounds you. And Katie Cothlow takes the brunt of that. <laughs> Kept alive, far sideline, played up, and eventually out. Two goals in the first few minutes of the second half for White Bear Lake. Got their lead up to three, and it's looking a little more like a scoreline that we anticipated. Ball trickles out, and it's going to be a all right. It's a White Bear Lake corner kick. Taking the corner kick, number five, Courtney Crouch. It will be a corner kick, Courtney Crouch. Crouch ready to take the kick for the Bears. 
readies it, sends it into the box. That one curls a little too much and out of play. Goal kick, Moundsview. Little bit of back and forth, and the ball will stay with the Bears. The Bears really controlling possession here early second half. That one sent in a little too far and out of play. Under a half hour to go here. 3-0 White Bear leads. Bears looking for another win here in the Suburban East. That would be their fourth win to go along with two losses. Loss coming to a very good, a Woodbury team, as well as Eastridge. White Bear dropped that one to Eastridge 1-0 yesterday. The team that Moundsview only lost to 2-1. To Mentioned Moundsview been playing a little better soccer as of late. There's a hard foul. Good cut from Kayla Anderson to draw that foul. Bears will have a free kick in a very dangerous area right outside the box. Free kick, White Burley taking that kick, number three, Anderson. Anderson with those 15 goals on the season is really going to be eyeing this one up. Shot comes in, save made by Duell. She didn't really have to move very much right at her. Shot Anderson, save Duell. Good shot on target from Kayla Anderson. Might as well test the keeper. Is let in a couple easy today. That's a nice ball hitting Tomley in stride. Able to just cut in and keep running. Kept the momentum. Last touch just a little too far and into the hands of Duel. Did see Moundsview kind of settle into that first half and start getting a little more possession Lake, after the first 10 minutes or so. Is really controlled by White Bear Lake. See if that happens again. Well, it just looks like a different Bears team here in the second half. Throw in there to the Bears. We are back live. Not sure if any of you were experiencing technical difficulty, but I hear we lost our live feed there for a little bit. So apologies about that, but I think we got everything under control. And back to the action. I was mentioning that Mountview kind of worked their way into the game into the, uh, as the first half went along. We'll see if that happens again after White Bear sort of controlled things the first 10 minutes. It's been all White Bear the first 15 here this second half. I've been really liking the way this Moundsview team has played. There's a look at the co-head coaches from White Bear. Standing stern. And they're probably liking what they see here in the second half performance. That one played forward and contact, no call from the official. Nowatsky went down. Some legs got tangled, but no call. That could have been a break there for Moundsview. That one, a little miss hit from Janicki. It's going to go to Westland. She just tries to head it forward. Not a ton of communication between the goalie and defender. No call again as Nowatsky spilled to the ground. And she's had a rough day. She's up to get, slow to get up, I should say. She's been dealing with a lot of physicality. 
Now you can tell it's taking her toll, taking its toll on her. Take a look at that one. Janicki has been very quick to come off the line. Looked like the White Bear defender, Abby Jessica, just kind of assumed that she would be out there to get it. And uh, Nowatsky from the Mustangs almost able to sneak in and steal a goal. There's Erica Townley, number 10. She's really been probably the brightest spot for the Bears so far tonight. Here's Kayla Anderson. Oh, what a turn. And I think they're going to call her maybe offsides was the call before she got the ball. Either that or she got the arm up a little too high. Regardless, free kick to Moundsview. Got a little bit of an obstructed view here at the press box at the White Bear Lake Stadium, so couldn't quite see the line judge on that last call. This one will be a throw-in and a substitution. There's a couple quick changes Entering for the Mustangs. Number two, Abby Northrup, and number 11, Lucy Henrik. Another hard foul. So there's some back and forth play on that far sideline. This one's called. And again, it's Nowatsky picking herself up off of that turf. She is put in a shift. Good chance here for the Mustangs. Free kick. Inside the White Bear half. Ball coming in towards the top of the key. Try to be touched on. Bear defense clears it, but only as far as Ballinger. Ballinger dumps it back towards the net, but Janicki quick to get out there and grab it. Kayla Anderson again. Good job keeping alive. Courtney Crouch. Crouch with a great touch. She still has it. Great footwork. Tried the slide rule pass, doesn't get through. But it'll stay with White Bear. Mustangs take it away. Nowatsky again showing some skill. Keeping it alive on that far sideline with not a ton of room. And there, I think she uh, maybe initiated a little bit of the contact. Good job by Carroll. Slowing her down and ushering the ball out of bounds. That's Madison Carroll, junior defender. Kayla Anderson with room to run again. Excuse me, that was Courtney Crouch. Crouch played it off a of Mustang, and it'll be a corner, corner which Crouch White will Bear take. Lake. So another corner here for White Bear. Crouch a senior, I believe you've also seen her on the uh, basketball court for these Bears here on SEC. That one curled in, hits ahead, and goes into the back of the net. Kayla Anderson's gonna claim credit for that one. It may have been going in anyway, but presence of mind by Anderson to get ahead to it and make sure it finds that final destination. Last one, Crouch hit, curved a little too far and went out of play. This one I thought was gonna do the same thing, out of the reach of Duel. Moundsview defenders don't really react to it. And Kayla Anderson with 15 goals on the season is very opportunistic and caps off that play right there with a nice goal. Scoring for White Bear Lake number three, Kayla Anderson. That's three second half goals five, so far Crouch. here for White Bear Lake. Take another That's look Anderson at it. Anderson just kind of drifted Crouch. back. 19, 13, you saw the two Moundsview defenders kind of drift back with her and decide not to jump. A mistake as Anderson's able to get up, get ahead to it, and get it into the net. Always nice to see our reigning athlete of the week uh, continue to have success. 
Nice to know my man John Miller did not jinx her and they're on our Pro Sports Path program with that Athlete of the Week designation. Westlund trying to make something work. She's been a nice piece here tonight for the Mustangs. That one hits a body. It's a white bear player and that'll be a corner to the Mustangs. Corner kick, Manzu. That is number 18, Katie Kothlau. She's a senior, one of the few here for the Moundsview Mustangs. Captain, as you saw on the armband. Corner hit in. Janicki off her line, didn't know anything about it. Kind of got tangled up. Good opportunity for the Mustangs, but they can't convert. Goal kick, White Berlin. Goal kick up to this near side. Townley thumps it forward, but out of play. Mounds views number 19 entering the match. Lily Nowatsky. Nowatsky re-entering. Get a little bandage up, took a breather, but back out there. Continue the hard work. 18.45 left to go here in the game. Four to zero, White Bear leads. Off the back of three second half goals. And look to be on their way to another Suburban East Conference victory. Eubanks giving chase with a teammate. Knocks it off the Bear player. Smart play and gets the throw. Another substitution upcoming. Entering for the Bears, number nine, Marin Schoberl. Schoberl's gonna come on for number 25, Madison Carroll. back and forth a few times, but now Mounsey looking to break. Nowatsky holding it up, eventually finds a teammate. Now ball played in. Oh, Janicki off the line, shot in. And call coming before the shot. Offside. Offside is the call. We'll take a look. I don't think that would have counted had it gone in, but nice shot from Kothlau. Nikki so good at getting off of her line, getting out of the goal, coming to get the ball. Kofsky, number five in white, trying to keep it for Moundsview. A little help from a friend. And the Mustangs will keep possession as it nearly trickles away, then does. A little back and forth, and Mustangs finding some success on this right side. Ball crossed in, and nobody home. Shot by Nowatsky, just wide. Goal kick, Bears. Janicki with yet another goal kick. This one heads near side and won't find anybody. It'll be a throw in back to Mounds View. I think 
to get her for an illegal throw. Good shot by our camera work, or camera operators, I should say, saw that the left foot of whoever was thrown in for Moundsview had stepped onto the field. I think the referee saw that as well. And the ball went back to White Bear. It's a little tough here in high school soccer with the fields really being most prominently marked for football. Sometimes that bold, oh, and that one just over the net. Bailey McCullough crashing in, nearly got ahead to it. Cross by Crouch. Crouch with the cross, beautiful cross. And McCullough just unable to keep it down. Looks like it sails through the uprights. White Bear on the attack again. I was mentioning that these football lines can get a little difficult, especially that really bold sideline line for the football field, which is actually in play on the soccer field. The soccer field here at White Bear is the uh, kind of thinner orange line beyond that big orange sideline. A lot of times you see in high school soccer and stuff, spacing getting kind of weird, people not realizing that that, that far, that out of bound line extends a little bit farther than that football line. And you may have seen that on that uh, throw and infraction we saw a few minutes ago. We'll see what happens here. It's Cothlo trying to get by, tripped up. And maybe hit her head on the turf going down. So we'll take a look at some of our upcoming broadcasts while we got a second. On Thursday, we'll be out for uh, at Tartan for North St. Paul versus Tartan in volleyball. This Polar squad for North St. Paul undefeated so far on the year. So that'll be exciting to see a team that's uh, narrowly made the state tournament many times. And this just might be the year, although we say that year in and year out, but always a successful program. So congrats to them. Uh, Friday, football Friday, Matamidi taking on South St. Paul. Talk about another good team. A Matamidi football team has had a lot of success the past few years. And we'll, we will recap tonight's action and that action on Sports Path next Wednesday, October the 3rd. Got football the following week. White Bear Lake right here against Woodbury. White Bear Lake's been a nice story uh, in terms of their football team this season, winning a couple games so far. Um, some of their their first, getting their first win since 2015 earlier in the year. And have already won the match for uh, two or three, I want to say three so far this season. And number 20, Ella Herbert. So sitting at three and one, things are turning around for the Bears on the football field. And looking good on this field right now for the girls' soccer team up 4-0. Injured player is taken care of, and we are ready to resume. Mustangs with the ball. Westland loses it underfoot. But the Mustangs will get it right back, nearly give it back, and eventually they will. Banks, Townley both giving chase. A couple of taller players on the field. Not sure what the call is there. And it will be a goal kick. Nice job, Eubanks. Goal kick, Malzu. Keeping Townley away from the ball. Quick goal kick and just too far for Ella Herbert. Watsky playing it safely short. Nice job closing down Bailey McCullough. McCullough now trying to play it up to Townley. Eubanks there, but can't knock it away far enough, and it'll stay with Townley and the Bears. Townley too hard for McCullough, but Schoberl there to back him up. And De La Rosa loses it. Kofsky takes it, tries to get forward even farther. Now I'm gonna have to battle a few defenders and we got a push and a free kick for the Mustangs. Free kick, Mounzu. Take a look. It's good work from Kofsky. 
taken on a couple defenders near side, hit an arm, no call. And you see just a little bit of push in the back there from Abigail De La Rosa. That'll usually get called when you kind of square right to the back and give a little forearm shove. We have another free foul. Kick. This White Bear time it will be against Moundsview and White Bear with the free kick. Taking that free kick, number 10, Townley. And Keeler just a little over aggressive there, making a little too much contact with the leg. It's gonna be Townley to take that free kick. Now we've seen her try and shoot from these distances all game, does it again. And I thought Duel maybe had to make the save there. She does not. But another close effort from a long distance by Erica Townley. And those that skip kind of right in front of the goalie, those are really hard to deal with. That short hop sometimes, especially on turf like this, can really pick up speed and sort of skip along. A good idea from Townley. Ten and a half to go here, 4-0, White Bear leads. That one too strong for Showburl. I think another push in the back, that one called on Haley Highland. Highland freshman out there for the Bears right now. There goes Highland, making a move. Nice chipped ball forward. And it's gonna be another corner for White Bear. Courtney Crouch to take. Corner kick, White Bear, Link. Taking that corner kick, number five, Courtney Crouch. Entering the match for the Bears, Tristan Litter and Bella Heckman. Just heard there, Tristan Linner coming in. As Bella Heckman as well. Corner too far, nobody home. And goal kick. Let's take a look at that one. Crouch really does like to kind of curl it in close to the net. That one again, just missed. That nearly went in the net. And almost headed home. Putting it in a dangerous position, so good job from the corner flag by Courtney Crouch. White Bear making a few changes. And we got a foul. Free kick, Moundsview. Abby De La Rosa gave him business. Free kick, Moundsview. Nowatsky to take. It's kind of straight on from the goal. These can be a little tricky. You like to be at a kind of an angle to be able to chip in a ball. Good lofted ball over the defense, but a little too far. Entering for the Mustangs, number eight, Anna Ranallo. And Nikki knocks it upfield. Eventually settled by Moundsview. Good pass from Ella Herbert. Herbert finds Nowatsky. Nowatsky's got a teammate on the far side, finds her. Looking for a cross, staying with it. Now Westlund collects. She looks for some space to send a ball in. Drops it back. That one chipped forward. And they're gonna say corner. I think the officials got it right. There are a few feet in there. Corner kick, Moundsview. And that will be the corner to Moundsview. 
Nowatzki to take. Bandage up leg and all. Coming in, I think they were looking for Eubanks, the tallest member of this Mustang squad, just to knock it forward. That one fell down to Ranallo, and she just blasted Shelton over the net. Let's take a look at this one. Nice opportunity. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to work it Go in. Ranallo heads it actually towards the net, and eventually will get it back for the shot after a few deflections. And not a bad effort. But you see, just leaning back on the ball a little bit. For you youngsters out there, you want to stay over the ball. What do you mean by that? Have your chest over the ball. Don't lean back. When you lean back, that's when it starts sailing high. It can be tough. It's an athletic move to kind of stay over that ball in some of those awkward positions. But just over the bar by Ronaldo. Nice effort, nonetheless, off the deflection. Kofsky, Westlund try to touch it forward to no avail. Nowatzki eventually finds it, drops it back, looks for it again. She's going to get it. Nowatzki cross in. I think it deflected off a foot, took a nice little loop for Moundsview, but nobody home. Jacob there plays it back. That one crossed in. Herbert, save made by Janicki. Shot by Herbert, save Janicki. Racine with some space, gives the ball up, but what a pass, what a pass. But just can't be. Save Duel. Just can't be collected, and the save made by Duel and Net. Great pass into a dangerous area. Take a look at this. Racine's had a nice night, too. I thought she maybe gave that one up a little bit early, but way to see that run from number 30. She can't uh, collect it. And Duel there to make the save. Eubanks with a good step, carries it for a while. Now passes it up ahead, a little too strong. Still in play. There's Racine. Drop back, thump forward. Four minutes now, 4-0 the score. White Bear pretty dominant here, second half. Kofsky trying to make a move, does get it through to Westlund. Westlund turns away from Nowatzki. She would have had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. There's Jacob. Jacob tries to fire it through to Nowatzki. Just a little too far forward. Nice little fake. He gets some room to run. Now cuts inside, but touches it a little too heavy. This one played up the sideline. Good job heading away. Played out and throw in to White Bear. Thought Showbro was going to take it, but I think she's just coming off the field. Madeline Wallace. And Madeline Wallace coming on and instantly coming into the action by uh, making the throw in. Here goes Wallace, dancing up the sideline, loses it. Miss kicks, but the ball stays in play. Here's Jacob. She'll switch sides of the field. Nowatzki now. Nowatzki, a little hesitation, keeps it alive, keeps it alive. 
Fends off one defender, got a, gonna draw a crowd. Now she's got three bears with her. And it's gonna be a tough battle to win. Bears clear it out eventually. And with a minute 45 to go, we're gonna have another quick substitution for the Moundsview Mustangs. Number 22, Laney Bollinger. Laney Bollinger entering back onto the field. She comes on for Mayakovsky. One minute. Oh, a minute left as you hear. 4-0, White Bear. Gonna move to four and two in the suburban east. This win, as I mentioned, will get White Bear to four and two in the Suburban East. The loss will drop Moundsview to one and four. Overall, White Bear will go to eight and four, Moundsview one, eight and one. Abigail De La Rosa here in the last few seconds. See the boys warming up on that far side. Fortunately, we will not be broadcasting that game, but we'll have those results for you on Sports Path next Wednesday. And as the horn sounds, that'll do it. It is a victory and a shutout for Janicki. Four to zero, White Bear Lake wins it on senior night. And they'll pick up their fourth conference win. All right, as well for everyone here at SEC Sports, we wanna thank you for watching this presentation of high school Girls soccer, the White Bear Lake Bears win it big at home, four to zero. We'll leave you with a couple highlights from the game, and we want to thank you for watching.